Okay, this will be very quick. It's basically, I've uh, recently, I saw a vi someone sent me a video and they used the example of Mohs hardness scale to talk about the impossibility of cutting limestone, for instance, with soft copper tools. This is bunkum in extremis. And they will cite Mohs hardness scale and present it in, this is science, this is, this is hard science, science, science. It's not science, it's pseudoscience when they use this example. So you could just go to Wikipedia. What Mohs hardness scale is a definition of uh, minerals and their hardness, but basically how they can visibly scratch one another. So for instance, copper. Okay, so it's about scratching. So let's have a, a uh, just remove this one. So at diamond, you have the top. So that basically means if I have a piece of steel in one hand and diamond in the other, and I scrape the diamond across the steel, it will scratch the steel. That's Mohs hardness scale. Now it could be the same said for steel and copper. If I get a piece of uh, steel and drag it across a piece of copper, it will scratch the copper. That's what Mohs hardness scale has to do with. It has nothing to do with the ability to make chisels and to cut limestone or, or granite, for instance. And so uh, when this is presented in bunk, it's pure pure bunk, pseudoscience, uh, they will talk about Mohs uh, limestone, for instance, it's between three and four, depends on what type of of uh, limestone you have and then we'll say well they'll usually cite four and say well that's harder on most hardness scale than copper therefore you can't cut limestone with copper this is this is demonstrably false you can do it, do it. It, it there is no argument about that but it still persists it's a narrative it's a religion it's a cult uh they and they hide behind this type of science and it's just pure pseudoscience and by that i mean a fingernail is uh 2.5 now Sandstone is up around six. Now you can scratch sandstone with your you can with your fingernail. You scratch sandstone, you can you can leave a mark on sandstone. So it, it actually whether uh, the ability to cut or, or to affect another material has nothing to do with Mohs hardness scale because um, stone is whether it's limestone, sandstone, sedimentary rocks. That's basically all these little bits and pieces that are cemented together. So. When they talk about Mohs hardness scale, they're talking about on the small scale how you know basically how one little little tiny piece will will it scratch the other or not. So it has nothing to do with with cutting. Now, but let's let's say this was true. Okay, let's exa examine that. So therefore, limestone, hard limestone, is harder than soft copper. By that definition, I could then, if I work in, if I'm selling copper pipe, I could make a limestone. Uh, drew, uh, saw. Well, why, why why do they not make limestone saws to cut copper? Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Uh, stone and metal are different. The way they are bonded together is very very different. Uh, like with sand, sandstone as is, is is hard up around uh, five. Just depending, some sandstones are even uh, harder, such as sarsen. But um, around five to six. Now, that's that's harder than copper. So therefore, I could cut copper with sandstone. But no, if you get a piece of copper, you scratch away at a, on, on sandstone or even hit it with a copper chisel. Which one's going to make way first? Because it's going to, there are little fractures in it. It's all these little bits glued together. So Mohs hardness, nothing to do with cutting stone. But the ultimate example of that is that glass is 5.5 on Mohs hardness scale. That's harder than limestone. So by this logic, I could make a glass chisel and work away and, and cut into into the hardest limestone. This is bunk. It's pure. It's 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 nonsense in extremis. Um, now diamond sits at the top of most hardness cover, so that, that means diamonds will scratch other materials. Now you can put your money where your mouth is if you believe this and if you want to keep promoting this rubbish. And that's what it is. It's rubbish. It's 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 wrong. Um, put a go get your your uh, a nice diamond. Put it on an anvil and hit it with a hammer. What's going to happen? Will the anvil shatter and the, and the hammer shatter? Or will you be left with diamond dust? That's the way, you know, this is pure, pure bunkum. And when it's presented as science, it's actually pseudoscience. It's not true. Uh, I've, there are some people who have been presenting this argument for decades and surely they would have learnt something along the way and that they still present this argument because I call, they are frauds. To be to to be blunt about it, and then this gets perpetuated as a meme, as if it's some sort of truth. Because I heard it, and oh, Mo's hardness scale, it's science. He looks science. There's a guy in a lab coat. No, it's it's nonsense science. Because the same thing, you can get a quartz crystal. 
uh, hit it with a uh, get a a, a, a a steel chisel, which is less than that, so even a soft steel. You bang away at a quartz crystal. See what's going to happen. The quartz is going to shatter because there are, the way it's structured is different to the way that metals are structured. So you can even with soft copper, you can cut limestone. This has been shown to be true. It's demonstrably true. It takes a long time, but then and then it said, oh, but the the ancients didn't have steel. How could they do it with copper? Well, you get a steel chisel and you try and cut limestone. It's it's still bloody hard. You you, you do the same thing. Cutting stone is hard, is a difficult job. With even the best steel chisels, and so it, you can cut harder metals with copper because copper is a metal uh, as opposed to stone, which is again bonded and structured differently to what metals are. And so most hardness scale, it, it is pure bunk. It is, it is it is false, it is pseudoscience, it's a false narrative to sell a delusional story. And it can be proved, and so if you see Mo's hardness scale, uh, just ask them, uh, well, a gla glass is, is harder than copper, so a glass chisel should, I should be able to go mining copper with a glass chisel. Well, it's not going to work so well for you. Or alternatively, you know, I, I should be able to um, make a limestone drill a uh, limestone saw and cut copper pipe with with limestone no you won't no you're gonna fail miserably and this what this is what most hardness scale and for those who are still presenting this and using this as an example of the inability to cut stone with with copper uh, and again I'm just saying copper because you have arsenical copper and arsenical bronze that is a false equivalency in itself uh, arsenical copper is up to 30 percent uh, so that would be 4.5 on the scale so still, this is bunk. Most hardness scale is a, is, is a fraud. And it should be, you know, uh, the, the truth-seeking community should be calling this bunk out. Yet they pat each other on the back and because it's a cult. Uh, it, it's a bit, you know, there are, there are things that are heresy and you can never question them. And even when the false, when this false dogma is presented, it's congratulated. This is pure, this is literally pseudoscience, most hardness scale. There's nothing there, nothing at all. You got nothing. 